Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the car rental system project step by step in csharp.net. Uh, I already done this project in Java. There are many students who ask me that to do in csharp so that I am planning to do this project in csharp. Uh, before do the project, uh, let us show the demo first. I already done this uh, project in Java. Let us show the demo in Java. The same project I am going to develop in C sharp dot net, right? So here, first I am going to enter the uh, first I am going to enter the this is the project. First I am going to run the project. If I run first I am going to enter the username and password in order to log in the system. Raja is a username, password one two three. Click login. You will be able to log in the system. This is the main main part of the car rental system this is the first button we will be able to register the class car okay now here if you click this button here you will be able to register the car here numbers number should be auto generated you no need to enter the car number it should be auto generated these are the car currently we have registered now if i want to register the new car go to the go here there is a make here we have to enter the make i just enter as honda model you can enter any model right shift or fit any model you can enter i just enter as a dummy text like this here yes we have to available yes click that here successfully saved if you click ok data should be saved itself in the table here right you can check the data right if you if you want to edit the car you select the car which you want to edit you select here if you want to select this car you want to edit you have to write here something like this shift or you have to write shift click edit button car record update right here you will be able to see the record okay, here right perfect right now what i'm going to do is here these are the things you have to do in the car registration after that there will be the another module available customer click on this customer the customer number will be auto generated here you will be able to register the customer here right okay customer name address mobile and everything right uh, now i am going to enter a customer name as a john you have to add peter address something like that mobile number i am going to something like that right click okay okay customer i registered successfully it save uh, display the table itself here now i am going to rent a car for the customer so here first before rent a car he have to check whether the car is available or not right so the a003 this car is available no it's not available right a004 this car also currently not available right 5 also not available 6 also 6 available right 5 also not available here 6 also available 7 available 8 also available right now I'm going to book the car as a 7. Which customer you are going to rent a car? So you have to enter the customer ID here. 006 is a newly created customer ID. Press enter key. The relevant customer name should be displayed here. You will be able to see the customer relevant customer name. Here I'm going to include the rental fee 5000. Select the date. Which date you are going to issue that car to him? This today date. We have to hand over the car due date we have to give as a 15 one day one day we have to give right for the rent right so here click ok Success, successfully saved now you can check here here again go here we have to check the car 7 here it's not available 6 it's available 8 also available right other cars are not available right now after that after one day passed you have to hand over the car right here there will be the fine right if you if the customer not hand over the car on time they have to pay additional fine fee right for the day right each day uh, they the fine should be calculated 100 100 right uh, it, it should be calculated as 100 right so here if the customer hand over the car so here imagine today itself they hand over the car this is a customer so car id is a what's a car id we have to return the car enter this is the car right a0007 right now here go here a007 press enter key 
L update is no L update right today here it's no L update no fine we have click OK update save right here there will be no up no date right so here if you go to the rental part now the if you click 7 now the car is available there is no fine should be calculated right now with this car there will be the fine right so here go to the here there will be the fine right here there will be 7 days fine they will be paid here there will be fine here there is no car fine here also no fine so this how you have to calculate the fine now this car this uh, final car is no fine right here if they if the update is exit here you have to pay 100 rupees for fine here right here this updated right okay this kind of simple system how to do step by step i'll be doing c sharp right let's go to the visual studio i open the visual studio here right i am using visual studio 13 you will be using the latest version of visual studio right so what i'm going to do is now i just close the netbeans now here first go to the file new project i'm going to create the new project right here first select c sharp windows application here you have to give the project name as car renter right click ok now here your new project has been created successfully this is a blank form here first what i'm going to do is here i have to increase the form little bit look like this this is the login form i'm going to make so select the form right click properties this is the property window we have to make the change of this form first what i'm going to do is here first very first what i'm going to do is here start position right here when you run this project it is running default location of the window okay here do here see that it is defaultly is run at here is default run here it is not an efficient way to do the program when the form is run it should be at at running at the center right so how to do the task is go to the properties start position windows default location it's default is selected you have to change it as a screen center right you have to make the option screen center and again you can start here it's automatically it uh, display at the center of the screen right perfect right after that we have to do the stuff right first what i'm going to go to the toolbox first i'm going to drag one group box here you have to drag on the form after that we need two labels and two text boxes we need two text boxes and two buttons right okay we get to all the stuff right right now first what i'm going to see increase the group box size like this right now here first we have to design the form first this is very important stuff so design the form right First what I am going to do is select this one group box We have to change the text as login We change the text as login Login Press enter key to change Select the form We have to change the text as Login form All Right. Perfect Now here we have to change the label Text this one should be the user name press enter key our this one should be the password press enter key right now here we have to change the name of the text box fields right first one select this one properties so here we have to go to the name property this one txt user name u name you have to change the text box name as txt u name press enter key this one select this text box we have changed as txt pass right okay 
now here the password field we have to change as a uh, password type text right so how to do the task is select the password uh, text box and go to the property which is a password chart which is a password chart here there will be the property called password chart here we have to put the actress asterisk right percent key it apply right whatever you type on this text box it is make it as a make it as the chart right okay now here if you see the demo if you run the project you can check here here if you type anything it's look like this right perfect right now what i'm going to do is here uh, we have to adjust the things like this right now here first what i'm going to do is here we have to do the validation part here first one is a login properties this one should be the login second second button select this one as a cancel right okay perfect after that we have to select the login button double click on this one here first what i'm going to do is here yeah. first we have to this this two text box we have to equal into the relevant variables first right so what is the, we 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 successfully named the text box as look like this this one should be the text you name this one txt pass right now here first we have to write txt you name dot text right this one we have to assign the relevant variable so i'm going to create the variable a string variable data type string username you name equal text box right we simply we have to right so what i did so far when the user type on the text on this text box right that text should be assigned to the variable you name right that is the stuff i done here right look like this when the user type on the text here this is this one should be this is a txt username text box it assigned to the variable you name right first as a beginner should understand this stuff as well in shisha okay so after that i'm going to do the second one should be the string pass equal txt pass dot text right okay perfect now after that what i'm going to do is here i'm going to validate the part right if the username and password correct we will be able to log in the system otherwise we have to show the error as invalid username or password that is a thing happen right so what how to do this is this is a condition part so we have to write the if right we have to write start with if right if username this one right you name equal you name dot you have to write like this you name equal you have otherwise you have to write here you name you name dot equals simply you have to write like this, equals you have to write give the username here i am going to give the username as here add me as a username i am going to give after that and pass this one pass pass dot equals we have to write the password here one two three right okay we have to write like this okay this is perfect here if the username and password correct this is this is the username this is the password right? if the user enter this two username is correct we have to able to visit the main form right i just create as a success message first right message dot show your right success else right you write a call and end right and the statement using call and mark same thing control c to copy control v to paste here here fail right perfect now let's check simple validation part i have did so far right now here if you enter the wrong username and password click login button fail right if it is fail right if you enter the correct username and password admin you have to write one two three click login success perfect now i have to what uh, do cover of stuff here fail if the username and if you enter the username and password uh, fail we have to clear the text box as well first right so we have to txt username dot clear we need to clear then at the same time we have to clear the password text as well dot clear 
after that the cursor will be focused on txt text text box right focus what you have to call this this is a tough app right okay here once the things have failed it's all things are clear right okay now here we have right so if a fail username of password do not match do not match it's a text we have to write okay now here if the username and password match instead of uh, display the success message we have to visit the main form so how to do the task is go to the project at the menu bar add windows form i am going to add the end the windows form here select the windows form type here we have to change the name as main main we have to name it as main click that button right now your new form has been created successfully here. right now here what i am going to do is here double click on the login button here if the username and password correct we have to visit to the main form so we have to write the main form main main what is the name here you have to write main you have to create the object whatever name you can give here i am give has a object name as m equal new main right after that this dot hide this dot hide mean we have to hide the current form current form mean which the current form login form you have to hide we have to visit the main form m dot show we have to show the main form here look like this this is the efficient way to do the program right now let's check whether it's working fine or not right now i'm going to log the system as admin one two three click login here you will be able to log the system the system right i hope you guys you understood the things well in my next tutorial i'll be continuing the main part right uh, thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching